In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the busy, free, public and private share settings when sharing your calendar with another person. Say, for example, I'm a boss and I'm sharing my calendar with employees. You can see here on my calendar, I have four different events. If I double click, you can see the event is busy and this event is public. I could change it to private or I could change it to free. I then have further details in the description of the event. And then what I've done is I've named the event example public and busy. So it's easier to see when we come back to this calendar view. We have public busy, public free, private busy and private free. Now I don't want everyone to see this calendar, so I'm not making it public to everyone, but I am sharing this calendar with specific people. And so in the shared with calendar, I've added someone else's email, my employee, also myself, and then I'm giving them all event details so they can see all the event details. Now you can see the employee is using Morgan to view their calendars because maybe they have an Outlook calendar and a Google calendar they want to see in the same place or they want to integrate Notion tasks, Google tasks, and Morgan tasks all in the same place. Either way, they have their Google Calendar being shown inside of Morgan. And if we look at the calendars available, there is the example share calendar that the boss owns. So if I turn that one on, we can now see those events. If we then compare these events, the example public busy is being shown, the title is the same, and we've got a thick blocked out event. The example public free is also being shown the same title, but is a little bit faded because it's a free event, not a busy event. Then we have the example private busy. The private busy is blocked out like the public busy, but it's saying private event. It doesn't have the title because it's a private event that my boss doesn't want to share with the employee. So I can see the event is there because it's busy, but I can't see the information. And then we have the private free event, which isn't being shown on the calendar because it's private, but also free. So it's not blocking the calendar. So the employee doesn't need to know that the boss has this thing going on. Inside of Morgan, if I double click on the event, you can see the public events show the further details. The next public event shows further details. The private event doesn't show the details. But what you'll also notice is there is a lock icon at the top of each event because this event cannot be edited because you don't have right access to the calendar. If the boss was to go into shared with settings, go into the individual settings and then say make changes to events or make changes and manage sharing, then those options will become available inside of Morgan. But now I've changed the settings so the employee can make changes and manage sharing. If I go back into Morgan, you'll notice all four events are now showing. And when we double click, the lock icon has disappeared and you can now edit the information. So I could edit the busy to free or tentative out of office and change the private to public. And then when we save the changes, we can go into the example private free event and what you'll see is the event is now public because it's synced from Morgan to Google Calendar. 